All right, here is the uh, new radiator. Uh, these are the tools that we might need to uh, put it together. Assumption here. And uh, here is the 3800 uh, Series 1 in all its glory. And we've got uh, the radiator that we need to replace here. Leaks like a sieve. So the first step that we're going to do is remove the cap. And down here, the plug, which I probably can't show you. So there you go, it's draining. Next step is we're going to want to remove these mounts. Here, let's see. And uh, to do that, I think we're going to need to remove this. So uh, these little things have to come out with pliers. They're uh, not real good. They're all plastic. And uh, this is going to be a 13 millimeter here socket. So every single one of these plastic things required, let me show you the whole thing, required uh, this lovely... Uh, vice grip right here um, and then as I said these are 13 millimeter it's only four so this just comes up like that after you have it off and uh, looks like we're gonna have to remove this it's just a wing nut we can just push it out of the way and uh, you know, have to unplug something here too and then we're gonna do this uh, upper radiator hose here the clamps and such pretty easy to do all right so I pulled the filter off and I've got this lovely thing here so this is no easy thing to pull up. Um, we're heating it to some screws there, and uh, let you know how, how well this comes off. So that worked. Uh, had to heat it for sure. And now I'm just uh, worried about these clips here. So next we're going to do these lovely hoses here. They've all got this nice little clip in there. I'll come out about the same way. This is the uh, quick disconnect. Yeah, sorry. So anyway, this is oil cooler. Uh, and then we have, uh, you can't really see down there too well, but we've got, yeah, there's another oil cooler right there. And then we got a transmission on this side. And that looks like it doesn't have that nice little quick clip thing. All right. Anyway, unbolt the fans here, which, uh, that's a 10 millimeter. All right, go from there. All right, so there's a little clip there. I got the light on it. Uh, probably gonna have to get it from the under, other side. Just a little clip with this, you know, plug with a screwdriver. But these came up nicely with just uh, removing four bolts, 10 millimeter, like I said. All right. All right, so got. Uh, it's hard to see. Maybe impossible for you to see, but uh, 10 millimeter bolt there and over here as well. And yep, one in the center. So yeah, those three are 10 millimeter and they need to come out. So I don't know if you can see, but uh, this uh, oil is dripping out of the thing. So you kind of want to put the pan back there. All right, so this thing takes a 5 8 both of them, transmission lines. And uh, that just comes unclipped with pliers. So it came right off. Uh, this is the old one. And the new one is right here. So anyway, these two pieces are one inch in diameter and uh, come off pretty easily. So, the, uh, as I was saying earlier, the fitting for the quick connect lines had to come off the old radiator. Um, those are good. It came with the transmission line uh, fittings, and uh, it didn't come with the temperature sensor uh, piece there, so that came off the old radiator as well. So first I want to hook up the engine cooling lines. You need these little pieces. I'm not sure exactly what they're called, but that's for the fittings. So uh, a little bit more on that. This is uh, the package that those blue things came out of. Uh, transline connector steel clip assortment and it's not for the transline but for the oil cooler regardless um, it's a half inch that you need and I can show you how this goes in probably with one hand nice. yeah not too bad and then that little indentation there 
has to match with that indentation there. That upper radiator hose is back on. So the simple clamps. Um, they've got pretty heavy tension, so you have to use a lot of force. Anyway, but they're pretty easy. So lower radiator hose goes on identically. Same thing with the clamps there. Uh, we've got a, let's see here, 5 eighths, uh, 5 eighths line wrench there. And that'll tighten these guys up. These are for the transmission there. There's two, there's one on top, one on the bottom. Well, if you're like me, you may end up with a uh, rusted and leaking uh, transmission line. If, if that happens, uh, my dad came up with this great idea. He has, uh, what do you use for flared ends, flared ends there, Dad? Uh, 3-8 compression sleeve. 3 eighths compression sleeves. Those are the gold pieces there, and then it's brake line. And uh, that works just fine. I mean, um, I'll just use a rubber hose. What size is, what size is the rubber hose? 5-16. Yeah, 5 sixteenths rubber hose just to connect those two, and that should be fine. So. This is Oh, yeah, my dad wants to show. This is what he bought. And then uh, what fitting is that? What it's fitting that goes on this part. It's, it's a 3 eighths. on there. I believe it's a 3 eighths or something. So anyway, this is my dad, regular uh, Samuel Hamilton, for the literary reference. Um, used to be in John Steinbeck or MacGyver. Jimmy Riggin stuff. All right, so you want to see your fans in here? See where they go. There's two slots right there. There, there. Your connectors, electrical right there. One, two, you can kind of see it. And over here with the temperature stuff right there. And you're going to want to put some dielectric compound on those. You're going to take this piece and slide that in. And then uh, you see these will mount to those with the ones with the washers already attached. 10 millimeter. And then there's three of these, you remember, that get bolted in. But there's one spot there, one spot there, one spot there. 10 millimeter. All right, and then this piece is going to go through this, this on top of that window. So then this needs to flip back into place here. Thirteen millimeter bolts in there, four of them. Had to remove the negative uh, battery terminal, just to let you know to get this on. And uh, yeah, you want to plug that back on. That goes in there, obviously with the little clamps, you can use pliers, and then you got these little screw plastic things that go in here this back so first you're going to fill this uh this up to the top here with the bleeder line open um that's just a flat head right there um so when that starts to stream um you can close that up again um and then when this gets hot you're going to open that up again and you're going to be continually making sure this is replenished. It's going to, as it starts to boil or get hotter or whatever, the coolant circulates more, you're going to have to add more. Anyway, you top it off. Um, when this starts to uh, bleed again, you're good to go, except you want to fill the reservoir up to the cool mark. And you can see the marks on the bottom there. All right, so that's how you do a uh, 3800 Series 1 engine uh, radiator replacement. Um, thanks a lot. This is Ryan. Have a great day.